libraries are the places, especially university academic libraries, are the places where we keep the record of what we knew, what we know, what we thought we knew, um, and the record that we use to interpret the human experience. But in 10 years, almost everything in the library will be searchable and usable electronically from almost everywhere in the world. The familiar book uh, will become less and less important as the way in which we keep this information uh, and the familiar computer screen will become more and more important as the way in which we access the information. In order to be an effective librarian now, one has to be really very good uh, with information technology, not only as a user, but actually as a, as a, a producer of new gadgets and widgets. So at SI, at the School of Information, I am taking classes beside human-computer interaction students so that I can understand usability. Things are becoming more accessible digitally globally. I um, work on the Ask a Librarian service here. So we have an instant messenger service where every librarian signs up for a couple hours and you sit and you wait for an instant message to come from a student or anyone from all over the world that's accessed. So I've gotten questions from Singapore, from Malaysia. So the ability to sort of communicate instantly what you're finding in the library and how you're using the library with others uh, for scholarly purposes, for leisure purposes, that is, that's brand, brand new, wide open, revolutionary. The ability to comment on it, um, the so-called Web 2.0 to tools, the library has to be a place where that happens. For students and faculty, the access is really already quite remarkable. Most of the current journal literature, most of the current scientific literature, um, we license from publishers it's available in electronic form. Anybody with a University of Michigan ID can get it uh, from pretty much anywhere in the world, uh, which is really quite extraordinary. Uh, for older books, it's more complicated. Uh, and the issue isn't so much one of technology, but one of copyright and rights. It is my fond hope and expectation that we'll be able to make legal arrangements with rights holders so that the kind of access that I was that we now have for many, much of the journal literature will become more universal, but that's going to take time. You have in your laptop in astonishing power. You can search the library's catalog from your laptop in your breakfast nook, right? You can, you can search the text of books and, and articles that have been, been digitized. Millions of them available in the university library. Millions and millions available on the internet. If you actually want to look at the book that you've just found on the catalog, you're starting to read it on the screen and you're saying, man, this is a 400-page book. Reading 400-page books on screens is not fun. We actually have a gadget next door, the Espresso Book Machine, where we can print a 400-page book for about $10 from a digital file. So I expect, interestingly, that as the digital revolution moves, people will do most of their searching and finding and browsing digitally, but they'll still be reading in print, and the library will be actually printing, uh, reprinting a lot of books uh, for, for individual use.